reset it. Just try to hold that trigger straight back. You don't let go of the trigger. Hold it straight back and watch that side. I gotta look around. Right hot. Try it again. It's, it's because we say it will be able to keep the finger on the trigger. Focus on that. Focus on that. Focus on that. That was perfect. That one was good. Remember, Dan, gun, right position. Uh, Always have it like that. Rotate it, extend it, rotate it. That's it. And then they insert the chamber. Nothing. Nothing happened. Because it's going to be automatic. Nothing. I just hold the trigger down. Cock the gun. Have you cocked it? That click tells me to stop moving forward, start moving back. So once I hit that click, my finger stops moving. Okay. And I'm slowly applying pressure straight back. But that's slowly releasing. So there's not full release, full release. I'm just gradually increasing pressure and then gradually decreasing pressure for the reset. I'm going to put five rounds in here. Now I usually do three round magazines. I want you to do five, but I think holding the trigger down when you... Oh, well done, Dan. The gun down. That's it. Chamber out. Yeah. Yeah. Focus on that side. Gentle pull straight back. Uh, that's really the hard thing to do. And it was the last shot, so it yeah. doesn't matter if you hold it back or not. Even if you did, you could be like, uh, yeah, no, I, I did. did on that no, one. I did. It's really holding back. We'll try four rounds. Same thing. Let's we'll take target number one. So when, and I'm just curious, when you qualify concealed, at what range do they do the shooting? Yeah. You got three. Three ranges. There's three, seven. We're at seven right now, and you're shooting bullseyes.